You are watching Breakfast Daily right here on City TV, and we're still on our community development segments. And right now, we're going to head all the way to Bimbilla, and we're going to be talking about some perennial floodings. That more than 300 people have been displaced following some rains. But now, it's time for us to check out this report, and then when we come back, we'll be talking about this issue. Following a rainstorm that hit Bimbilla Township on Thursday, a considerable number of residents have been affected. Over 60 homes, schools, and other government structures like the Municipal Fire Service Office, the Electoral Commission Office, and other structures were completely destroyed by the rainstorm. The tower of a radio station, Beat FM in Bimbila, was also affected. The tower of the station fell on a nearby building but luckily, there were no people inside. The Municipal Chief Executive for Nanumba North Municipality, together with officials of National Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, on Friday, went around to assess the extent of damage caused. The Municipal Chief Executive, Honorable Abdullah Yaqub, has been speaking to City News about the unfortunate happening. For private homes, I must say that over 60 private homes have been affected. And uh, we've just started the assessment. Now we have started the assessment this, uh, this morning. They've just come to inform me that uh, they will continue. But uh, in fact, it's, it's been uh, devastating. Some private homes have been completely destroyed. The roof off and then the walls all collapsed. We have areas like... Um, uh, Dangbe, uh, Masaka, Bayangwaya, and then uh, Kakuhi, electoral area. These are areas that have been hardly hit. And uh, unfortunately, it didn't even rain, just drizzled, and uh, it's only the, 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 the Bimbila Township that has been affected. Uh, at least over 200, because you know some households are there, have over, <laughs> over 20, 30 people living in it. And if you have a, a whole structure demolished, you see, uh, it, is, it is a difficult uh, situation for us. And we have the Electoral Commission, uh, educational institutions. You know, schools are in session. So how are we coming to handle We have to fix them immediately. And our Electoral Commission, they say, uh, we are here to assess the damage that have been caused, whether some of the uh, registers are affected. Yes, even the immigration office, the roof also uh, got uh, had affected. So we have uh, a problem on our hands to, uh, to solve. He appealed to NGOs, NADMO, and other benevolent organizations and individuals to come to the aid of residents, saying the assembly for now is handicapped. Assembly Currently, we are financially quite uh, constrained. And if we are coming to see that we want to use the little resources that we have, we will not be able to assist the people adequately. And our, our uh, priority now is looking at how to put back the schools that have been left on so that the children can continue their education. So that we look at the other private homes, what uh, can be done to assist them. Because these are trying moments. You know, this is, a, this is a, 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 an, a predominantly an agricultural part community. Majority of those whose houses are affected are into a Greek. This is the time they are preparing to uh, preparing their lands to go into uh, 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 planting their maize and other things, and this has also come. Uh, so, so, so for now, now putting out with uh, friends and, re uh, and relatives. Uh, you know, schools are in session. We could have housed some of them in in schools, <laughs> but schools are also in session. So what they are doing is that they are putting up with uh, family and friends. And uh, we are also, after the assessment is done, we know the actual number of people who are displaced and then to see what can be done to assist them. Some of the affected persons made a passionate appeal for support. Family members. Wow. Wow, that's quite unfortunate. Mm -hmm. And 
this actually reminds me of the conversation we had here, you know, talking about trees mm. and how important trees are to us. Yeah. So, like, when just just right now off camera, mm. you, you talked about if they actually put more effort in building trees, maybe these will actually Planting serve. Planting trees across the yeah, region. Yeah, yeah, these will actually serve as, you know. Windbreakers. Windbreakers. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, time and again, we come across these situations um, where roofs are ripped off, you know. So, of course, you're talking about architecture, you're talking about buildings, because it's not everybody's roof that's ripped off, mm -hmm. right? Um, in the same vicinity, it's not everybody's roof that's ripped off. But I also think uh, the larger conversation, apart from infrastructure and how we choose to build, also is the issue of climate change, tree planting, reforestation. Um, of spaces like this. But we also, in the immediate aftermath of this, want to find out from NADMO uh, what has been the intervention. As um, a lot of people, in many times like these, become skeptical. As if you've been following some of our community development stories, you will know that um, s some of the community members in different communities, last time we were doing Volta region, yes. people have become skeptical. It's mm -hmm. like oh, not more. Uh, the, several times now, they don't show up or they come and they make promises and then we don't see them again and so on. I had a personal experience um, in Tetegu, you know, when the flooding happened uh, with the wager dump spillage. And um, yeah, they were very incensed. I was right there on the ground. They were very incensed when they saw Nadmo. It's like, what are you doing here? You mm -hmm. know, it's, we've been we've been living in this for three days. You know, in the water for three days, and you are now showing up after the third day. You know, and so on. So yes, there's a bit of skepticism and all that. But they are the, the you know the organization that's mandated to manage disasters. And so um, we'll find out what it is that they've been doing. And um, I, I think that we should extend the conversation, you know, nationally right, right. Um, to the issue of tree planting with the objective right. of creating windbreaks that doesn't allow winds to speed up to the yeah. point where radio masts and all these things can be dragged true, down. You true. Know. Right. So we actually have uh, Mr. Abdallah Salifu on line and he's the regional director for nadmo hello sir good morning good morning you are welcome to breakfast daily thank you right so i'm sure you already heard about the situation at Vim Villa. right so have you visited the area not yet but my district director and his team were available to take the statistics Okay, all right. So after taking the statistics, um, what do you think and, um, about the damage that have been done and how are you going to help the people? Thank you. I think it's happening over the weekends and because of that, I have not been able to visit this, the place myself with my team. Mm -hmm. But uh, what I have realized is that uh, it has affected a lot of houses and then a lot of people have been displaced. Right. Uh, I have about, we have about a total number of 871 people displaced. Mm -hmm. And it has affected about 149 houses. Okay. In big houses. And then, the, and then we have some fair service uh, operations that have also been affected. That's of PC and then two schools. Right. These are very important facilities that we need to respond to immediately. Right. Uh, and we have also had the situation of the total number of people who are affected in terms of uh, adults, female adults, and then uh, children, adults, and female children in that order. Oh. So what I was saying is that I think uh, the assembly, the assembly is also in touch with the people. And you know, immediately when it happens like this, it is the assembly that responds before NADMO, hmm. because uh, they are very close to the people. Okay. And NADMO is a subset of the assembly. Okay. NADMO is a subset of the assembly. So the NADMO director, together with the district director, the municipal chief executive, they are in collaboration to see how, what they can do. But I am, I will visit them more person in the morning. Before I can speak in it, I can give a little bit of what really happened. 
All right, so um, let's forget about what really happened, but um, let's talk about the affected um, people. Um, what actions are, are not more going? What actions are not more going to take to actually protect these people? Because obviously there are displaced people right now. So, what is your next step in trying to help these people? Well, for now, uh, according to my principal director of that uh, they have been able to see that the displaced people speak with relatives and friends. And as they do that, put another thing, they pay they take with them. So uh, NADMO is currently trying to organize some social media items to go and support them. But for now, uh, Northern region is uh, a bit handicapped in terms of it. But we will surely respond appropriately. Um, wh when was the last time that you had? Um, a disaster that you were able to adequately respond and help to support the people? Well, I guess, I guess, I guess, if I, and I haven't taken this attack. Sorry, sorry, you, you said you just took over how long ago? About uh, four months ago. Okay. okay. So okay. I have not been able to, I will not be able to speak. Okay, all right. Uh, and, and so, um, in terms of timelines, how soon do you think you can respond to this particular situation? Well, I, I have verbally spoken with my uh, director general mm. about it, and he needs to respond to it. Okay. Very soon. All right. So um, there is a question that has come here. Um, I want you to uh, respond to. It says here, maybe, please find out from him what they are also doing it, uh, doing at Nakpali in the Zabzuku district where a similar um, incident happened last week. Well, I will, I will you, do, do you know about that? Yes, I'm aware of it. Okay. I'm aware of it. Okay, so have you been able to do it? Okay, so what's the response? I'm not to the police. What? So the yeah. director general was in the process of organizing some of these things. Mm. When he found it was in, and you know, I, what I have realized that he may not like to do it bit by bit. So I, I believe we blend the two and then respond to the region appropriately. I see. But the incidents are happening bit by bit. So why would you wait, wait till uh, and get everything together? Because even as you're organizing, others may happen. happen. Yeah, I, you know, naturally, the, the goal is very tough for the nation, for that matter, the whole world. So, uh, things are not as easy as we look at it. But it is our responsibility as an institution to make sure that these things are carried out. So, he's putting up to get things together to see how to solve the problem. It will soon happen. So, please bear with us. Uh, well, right. we, we are trying to bear with you, but in all honesty, it seems like um, you guys are always behind when it comes to issues of helping people when such disasters happen. Because it's not the first time that it's actually happening um, in that area and other areas around are, like, in the whole country. So it seems there is a problem. So since you are, like you said, you have just been... Um, 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 like, yes, yeah, take, um, taking over in, in, in that position. Why don't you be the change? Because there is, there is a problem. These things are happening. Why don't you try to be the change and help people adequately? Madam, I, I, I have just taken over. And I, like I said, I have the belief that if we change the way we do things, we continue to get the same result. Okay. For that matter, I'm trying to bring up an initiative okay. that will help us at least organize ourselves to respond to disaster issues while waiting for the national to come. Right. For example, if you look at the Bagley Dam, the Bagley Dam, when they open it, it takes more than six months before it goes up. And the moment after three months, it goes off. But the place is still very wet. So I have the belief that if we are able to plant trees, for example, bamboo, we can even use it for 
what the, what we call a dry season farm. And we have the factor, now we have the factor that I believe that if we are able to do it, we'll be able to isolate, get something from that place. And whatever we get from that place will not be taken to Asia. It will remain in northern region to be able to respond to these issues right. before national can do something about it. Okay. But like I told you, I have just taken over and I believe in due course, it, it wouldn't be as it is now. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we hope you implement, you know, all the ideas that you have since you have taken over. And good luck. Good luck with your, you so with, with your new Thank position. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. <laughs> well, um, as you can see, uh, the challenges are many. And um, so, you know, everybody's got to do their part. For me, I just don't want us to be um, coming around, you know, in six months, saying the same things and the making same the issues, same excuses you know. and you know telling different stories you know just running around the issues and still not resolving and being able to do what we have to do but we're going to take a quick break when we come back we have nutrition and on nutrition today we're going to be talking about tilapia the question is to eat or not to eat how healthy and uh, how good and nutritious is it for us and then we'll be getting into the cooking segment. Today is all about tilapia. And uh, we'll, be do, we'll be having some baobab juice. And we'll be looking at some tilapia and pasta salad, tilapia kebabs in chili, and tilapia hot dogs. So definitely to eat. To eat. You, you were asking to eat or not to eat. Yeah, to but eat. that's nutrition. Uh, nutrition is to eat or not to eat. To eat. So we'll be asking that question. To eat. Uh, as for the, as for the <laughs> cooking segment, we'll be eating. To eat. <laughs> We'll be I right really back. Don't, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.